um, something that I just kind of want to share is the trajectory of our kids' ministry um, as a church. Um, something that Pastor Tim and I have been talking about for a while is we want to fill in this piece between church and home. And, and really the biggest part of that is parents. And um, as you've probably seen lately on the announcements, the, the vision that Pastor Tim has set for the church is kind of summed up in the words proclaim, equip, and disciple. Being in leadership in our kids' ministry, this is something that I've just really taken seriously. Like, okay, how are we going to be equipping and discipling the kids in our church? And the more that I've just studied and really uh, gleaned wisdom from other people that are in children's ministry, um, I believe that the Lord is kind of wanting us to do a little bit of a shift and not focus, we, we, we are gonna have kids ministry, but we also wanna focus on family ministry and and really bringing that family piece together because we can have the kids over in the other building for an hour, once a week, sometimes less than that. And it's awesome and it can be a really great time, but they are other places, <laughs> at school with other people, so much more and that one hour maybe a week once a week you know isn't going to be a match for the world it's just not and and we all know that right now the way that the world is set up it's it's set up to pull families apart from each other like they're we're always separated from each other there's work there's meetings there's clubs there's sports there's everything that's separating the family from each other, not that those things are bad or wrong, but then on Sunday we come together and we're kind of doing that here too a little bit. And the Lord just kind of really laid on my heart that we need to be working on um, just that discipleship piece of equipping and discipling parents to then be the discipler of their kids. And, and one piece of that that we're going to try for the summer, we'll just give it a try and see how it goes, is including the kids for two of the Sundays of the month in the whole main service. So the kids ages four and up, starting well, starting June 1st, or the first Sunday, whatever Sunday that is before. Um, we're gonna be trying out on the first and third Sunday, having the kids ages four and up being in the whole service with us so that families can sit together, the kids can see how their parents conduct themselves in a service. They can see how we all are learning from the pastor. And we're gonna have, um, for kids that are old enough, they can take little notes, we're gonna have note sheets or, you know, something like a coloring prompt. Like draw something that you hear the pastor talking about. Things to help them get engaged in learning how to be a part of the body. Um, and then the other Sundays, we're still gonna continue over in the kids' building. But I've just heard so many amazing testimonies from churches that have done this either once a month or they don't have a kids ministry at all, whatever degree they decide to do it, just such a benefit of the kids being in the service with the parents really learning. Um, and, and it's also a, a chance for parents to have that discipleship piece. So we wanna do much more than that and have more discipleship happening, but that's one piece that we're gonna be trying out and seeing how it goes. So um, if you're, uh, not a, a parent that has kids here at church right now. Um, this does include you too because we are all a part of the body and all those little kiddos that run over to the other building, uh, they are a part of our body too. And corporately as a church body, they are part of our responsibility and we need to help teach them um, and care for them and show them how to be a part of the body. So uh, even if you're not a parent, this does still involve you because they're gonna be looking to each and every one of you here as an example of what it's like. You know, they're already in here with us for worship, but then, um, you know, listening to a pastor and learning how to take in teaching and learning how to work together and just making them feel like they have a place because often what can happen is, you know, they're in kids' church, they're doing games, they're getting candy, and then they turn whatever age and they come and sit in the boring big church. There's no candy anymore. There's no whatever anymore. And then they don't want to come back because they haven't learned how to be a part of the body and learned how to listen to solid preaching. And one thing that we say often in our, in our church is that children don't get a junior Holy Spirit. They have the same Holy Spirit that can uh, sit under preaching and hear. And maybe they don't 
understand with their physical ears and mind yet some of the things, but their spirit is feeding on that and taking it in. So that's something we're going to be trying out starting in June. And I'll put out some more announcements about that so you know the dates and we'll know uh, who is where. So the kiddos three and under can still go to the nursery um, if you want them to, or you can have them stay if you want. But I think this is going to be just a really cool opportunity for our church to, to grow and, and maybe do something a little bit different than the world is doing or that other churches are doing. Um, there's nothing wrong with really cool big kids ministries, but sometimes uh, desperate times, and I would say these are desperate times, wouldn't you? <laughs> Call for some desperate changes and measures. And I know for our kids, I just don't want to waste time. <laughs> They're already growing up so fast, and there's just not time to waste uh, in having that chance for discipleship. Um, so before Pastor Tim comes up, I think it would just be nice to maybe um, lift this up in prayer. And, and maybe also just to kind of reflect on, I know for myself too, maybe some ways that I've kind of missed that a little bit. You know, and that the Lord really just uh, refocus us on what it's going to be like to be including kids in here. It might be a little bit louder some Sundays. We're just going to have to kind of get used to it. But uh, it's better to have the noise of the kids in here than to have a dead, dying church, right? <laughs> uh, so, Lord, we just lift this before you. And uh, we just thank you so much, Lord, that we uh, are getting, in these last few years, so many more kids and families in our church. And, and Lord, we just want to steward that well. Uh, so we just pray, Father, that you would help all of us, mothers, fathers, grandparents, um, all of us as a church body to be that example of faith for these kids, um, to help them learn your, your your word and to have a hunger and thirst for your, uh, for your word, for the scripture, Lord, so that they can be thoroughly equipped. Um, and we just pray, Father, that as we uh, make these steps towards working uh, out more discipleship, uh, efforts with uh, parents and families, Father, that you would just lead and guide that and direct us, uh, and that you would bless that, Father, even if it's different than what other people are doing, uh, we want to do what you are leading. So we just thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.